Hi guys, how's it going? Recently I got a lot of suggestions from a channel that plays around with clickers. So I thought, since I started using clickers back in 2011, why not do a video tutorial on it? A clicker is a script that clicks where you want, whenever you want. What we need to start is having basic functionality, like, like a start, stop and exit function, to keep control of our PC. The other thing we need is to figure out where we want to click. In our case, we use piano tiles too, and it's rather simple. You click on start and then click on the black tiles. Well, that wasn't the best game ever, but it's enough for a demonstration. Now that we have figured out how the thing works, the other thing that we need to figure out is where we actually want to click and for that I use a program called Mouse Finder. It gives me the X and Y coordinates of the cursor. After figuring out where we want to click, we need to find a trigger. In our case we want to use the color black as a trigger. So whenever something black appears on the screen, we want our program to click on it. Sounds easy enough. Let's start. Every good clicker starts with the right program. I chose Auto IT for it because it's first of all free and second of all a scripting language to create scripts. It already has a lot of functions built in that will help you create your own clicker. To start, run the Skype editor and save the file. Next, we will want to open help. The first thing we want to do is set hotkeys. We go to index in the help menu and search for the term hotkey. And what will pop up here is hotkey set which is a function that lets you set hotkeys. So we type in hotkey set, then we need to type down which key we want to set as hotkey. In my case, I use the down key, so arrow down, put in a comma, and now name a function. I name it underscore start. Do not use start because start is already a variable that's within the program itself. I'm gonna copy the Thing tries now so that I don't have to type down everything. I'm gonna create pause and exit. Now let's introduce a global variable. Variables in auto IT are created with the dollar sign. I'm just gonna name it go for start and I set it to zero. Now we need to define our start, pause and exit function and that we do by a function called function and the way this works is I just type in function our function name start when I want to start I want to set my global variable that is go to one so the way I do it is I just now type in go equals one and function and that I do with all three of them. And next would be pause. Function pause. Go equals zero again. And function and also exit. We now defined our functions. Start sets our pointer, the variable go, to one. Pause sets our variable to zero. And exit sends the exit command, which stops the script. Next, we have to define our search function. Our search function should search for black pixels. And if they are black, the function should return the position of the black pixel. Let's do that. I'm sorry we just did a few steps at once. What I did here was to define a new variable, position. I named it short pause. And position is a positive to wherever the function pixel search, basically it searches a rectangle of pixels that is separated by coordinates. You need to put in the top left coordinate and the bottom right coordinate of the position on the screen where you want to search for pixels. And to get 
a positive find, you need to then define a color. In this case, our blocks in the piano game are black and the code for black in HTML is a triple six. And after that, the variation we set to zero. So we only want black and not any sort of gray. Then we use the if is array position. That means if our position is existent, then we want to click with the left mouse on the position of X and Y of our black positive search result. It basically means it searches for black pixels and when it finds it, it clicks on it. The else means if it can't find pixels, then it will just pause for a millisecond and will start over to search. And that's our search function. The next thing we have to do is to create a while loop. That while loop should continuously start our search function so that it constantly searches for black pixel on the screen. Let's do that. And that's it. We now should have a fully functional clicker program or clicker bot that will play our piano tiles game. Let's see. But before we do that, I need to point out a small mistake I made. I didn't define my variable properly here. I typed the wrong sign here. It should be a dollar sign. And now it should work. Just gonna save again. And if we now go to the Explorer wherever our program is saved or we run it from within the program. So if we now press F5 should be active and we see it in the right lower corner the small auto it icon and the name of our program now let's go to the website piano tiles and test it out i'm gonna activate the while function by pressing down the arrow key and i'm now going to click on start
I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I personally don't plan on doing more clicker tutorials because that's the extent of programming that I know. So have a nice day and maybe I will see you in the next one. Bye.